afraid of you are. I've got, I got them myself. Why don't you sit down, please, and have something? Thank you, my lord. I need it for not drunk. I will soon be going. I will get the car to take you home. I need no car to take me to my home. I came alone. I go back alone. My son was worth saving. I am baffled. I cannot listen to what you are at all to say. Yes, my lord. You will listen, you and your friend. He was a good son. He would have been a good husband to a right woman. But that woman wasn't right. I should say she was a bad woman. She was out to her man, my son Hector, and other ladies who came her way. I shouldn't have minded if it was just her wife. But it went deeper than that. She plainly drew a knife to root her. She rejoiced in evil. She used to see men lose their reason and their lives for her sake. Even at the risk of her own life, it's good she's dead. She wants to see men killing, killing one another, killing even herself. And she was killed. She was. But not by your son. Not by my son. Why do you wish to go back on this man's story? Because it haunts me. It haunts you, and you, sir, and everybody in this place. She let my son guess. She was to meet airmen that night. She hoped for blood. She dressed for the occasion. Off she went, and up on the hillside. She took out of her paint and powder, and looked round on the hills, and lopes and the bone trees in the wood, and said, there is none of you so bond as me. That's what me think. Aye. And there is none of you so powerful as me. I can do with men what I like. And looked round in a fright and went down the hill. To meet the airmen. To meet her doom. Down the park on the path of red deer. Yes, my lord. Mrs. Lord, I am going to take you home in my car. I shall take no refusal, and I am going to ask you rest in bed from here, where we shall bring you some food to eat. Did you say rest, my lord? How can I rest? I have lost my son. There is more than the sea that divides us. He still loves that woman. But I thank you, my lord, for saving his life. Allow me. I hope you will forgive me for disturbing you, my lord. But I had to thank you. I was made to thank you. I did my duty. Aye, but with mercy and consideration for the broken hearted, I had to thank you. Something else on your mind? They will leave my son alone. They? The law. The law has found him innocent. But supposing the law was changed its mind? The case is finished. Are you sure of that? The law said you are under the suspicious crime of murder. You will be tried in our court of impartial justice. And we have found him not guilty and there is an end of it. If I was only sure. You can take my word for it. Yes, my lord. You like my son. Thank you, my lord. God bless you, my lord. Poor woman. Yes, we well, respected them, the rumors. Been here for generations. Not surprising. She disproved of the lady who was such an untidy yeah. You didn't go to the curious admission, she read. Ah, no. But now, I see it. I think you don't miss my judge. I am a lawyer. The last person who saw Lily Sarger alive was the forerunner at Egg's Farm. About 100 yards farther on the road, divide at a spot, invisible from the farm. One path goes by the side of the log, the other path of Red Deer goes on the hill and rejoins the path, uh, log path about, uh, about a mile farther on. Nobody knew whether Lily Sarger took the path of low road or high road. Her body was found 200 yards from the west junction of the two roads. But Miss Loma knew. Apparently. But she didn't say so. Power in court? Clear evidence she denied all knowledge of uh, Lily's movement on the day uh, of the day of the crime. But apparently she was there. Looks like it. Now, what did she say just now about the path? Something like this, off she went. That's to say, Lily saw her and up on the hillside. These are the vital words. Yes, and up on the hillside, she took out her powder. 
her bed and her border. And then she said something to affect the woman, which fired her husband look around on the hillside and the walk. And the bush trees in the wood, and the bush trees in the wood. And then there was the effect that she was bullier and more powerful than the nature around her. Yes, and I remember the final words. I can do with men what I like. And look around in her pride and ran down on the hillside. You deduce she was there? It's a pure deduction. It was striking as a possibility. Her son might have told her, supposing it was the guilty party, about what gestures of this woman revealed of her thoughts. No, her son was decent, unimaginative sort of shape. No, only a woman could guess what was in her thoughts. She might have heard nearly murder something. Quite possible. Miss Jane Lamont murdered Nelly Sandra. That's your conclusion. The police suspected her, of course, but she had a perfect alibi. The desert. The saints are almost desert. Nobody goes near them. As rule, Mrs. Lamont says she was there all day and went to her just who could contradict her? Why did she tell us all this? It may have secret out. I don't think so. Conscience, maybe or or what? I don't know. What made me see that woman? I broke the rule of life time, the rule which every sensible judge must follow. I ought to have stopped her as soon as she got on the subject of murder. You did stop her. Yes, but she forced me to listen. She forced me? Yes, but how? Why? The police knew what she has told us. They perhaps detain her. What I to do? How did this woman get in? The boy did the door. Didn't do it. Let us see. Now who can that be? Hello.